Good morning. It's Friday, May 14th. We are going to go over today's warm up and then we will go through what we're doing today on Schoology. So, today's warm up question is to choose one type of symbiotic relationship and explain how the organisms interact with each other. So, this would be um, either mutualism, commensalism, or parasitism. And you're just going to explain how those inter uh, organisms interact. So you can look at our symbiosis worksheet that we did earlier this week or look back at the symbiotic relationships poster um, that you created this week as well and just choose one of those types and explain just how the organisms interact, like which one is helped, which one's harmed, if both of them are helped or if um, one of them is unaffected, just explain that. Uh, once you are done with today's warm up, please make sure you go back and answer any other warm up questions that you missed from this week. And then you are turning in your week 36 warm up. Once you are done with that, we're going to go over to Schoology and walk through today's assignment. All right, so on Schoology, um, you are going to today's folder. You guys are going to be um, finishing up any missing work from this week, completing anything you need to. And then we are going to kind of jump to a different topic quick. Um, since we are online, you guys obviously didn't get to go to Renfrew or do our wetlands field trip. Um, and last year we didn't get to go through it as well due to COVID. So we are gonna complete the wetlands packet today, just kind of giving you some information about what wetlands are um, around the world and kind of what their importance is. So if you click on today's folder, you will see um, an assignment for the wetlands packet, and then you will be assigned to um, a Kids Discover Magazine wetlands link. So if you click on that link, I would suggest that you open it in a new tab, and then when you click on the wetlands packet assignment and make a copy of that, have that in a new tab as well. So the wetlands packet assignment should look like this, and I'm gonna shrink it here a little bit. And then your document, or um, rather your Kids Discover magazine, is going to look like this. And it um, is in Schoology that you'll have it open. So you might just need to um, shrink the page a little bit or shrink the magazine so you can access it. But once you do that, if you want to split your screen again, just to kind of help answer the questions as you go through, you can do that. Um, but you should have your wetlands packet and then the magazine will load and open in Schoology. So once your magazine loads here, um, you're going to go through and answer the question. So if you look, each heading on your wetlands packet is a heading for like an article in the magazine. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to fill in um, the blanks behind the highlighted here, just like we would with regular notes. You can either backspace and then type in the word um, or just type in your word after that highlighted spot. Um, it's going to be as you read through these things, sometimes you might have to zoom in if you want to see um, the little pictures a little bit better and what they are saying because you might have to pull information from that as well. But it's going to be word for word as you fill that in as you go through. Sometimes um, the sections are split and I'm not quite sure how to get the pages to line up, but do your best. Then as you go through, again, look for the bold headings, and that is a new section. Okay. Um, as you go through, sometimes you might be having to just list out, like this one, three different plants or four animals. So you're going to look at um, this section and just look at what um, animals or plants are mentioned and type those in. So again, you might have to zoom in just to see what the plants or, animal, plants or animals are called. Then as you get to other sections um, for a home in the wetlands, 
this, you're going to look at the red tags here that list out the seven different places. And that's what you're going to list then. So those red tags are all throughout those pages. Um, and you just need to type in what those places are. Then the River of Grass is a new section. Um, again, you might have to find some information in the picture info. Otherwise, you'll just keep on going through. Then Secret of the Bogs. And then Save the Wetlands is the last section. So that's a couple pages as well that you'll just fill in those notes and answer those questions. Um, once you are done with that, you will go ahead and submit your wetlands packet. Um, I believe it's due Monday, so if you need to finish that, you can. Otherwise, this is all we're doing today and any missing work from the week. Um, just make sure you get that turned in. If you have any questions, please email me. Otherwise, have a good weekend.